Hey, it's Andy, AR Engineering. We're starting a new engine build here that I think is going to be pretty interesting. This is a Ford 460 block. It's a 1979 truck block. And we're going to bore and stroke it to 521 cubic inches. And we're going to use the Kazi SR71 heads. Now these heads are just about the best head on the market for these engines. Um, very heavy duty. You can see the rocker arm stands here. We're going to be using a T&D rocker arm set. 1.75 rocker arm ratio. Solid roller cam. You see the ports here. Nice and generous size. On this side, we have the ARP head studs installed. These are 9 16 thick. Very large head studs. On the front of the block, we're going to go with a Danny B timing belt, a belt drive. And we have an electric water pump mounted up here. Uh, the Danny B drive will you know, give us all the benefits of a, of a belt drive, solve some problems, makes it a little easier to adjust cam timing on the dyno, some of those sorts of things. Take a peek down here below, you can see we've got the Kazi oil pump mounted up just for checking. At this point right now we're just checking different parts, fits and fitments. As I said before, the engine is going to be 521 cubic inches, 13 and a half to 1 compression with a flat top piston. Got the cart here. We have a lot of the parts ready to go. The T&D rocker arm assemblies are there. The heads from Kazi. Camshaft is a... Kazi special called the K1, ground by comp cams. See here, just about 800 lift. The duration is 273, 280. Not a, not a really big cam, but Kazi says the engine should make 850 horsepower. Got the pistons here, and then we've got crankshaft crankshaft and connecting rods from Molnar. Connecting rods are 6.8 inches long. Big block Chevy pin sizes, forward offset. Crankshaft is 4.3 inch stroke. The bore on this engine will be 4.39. So just a 30 over. That should leave plenty of wall th thickness for future rebuilds if needed. Anyway, that's it for there for now. Just a short little video showing the kickoff of this 521 project. We'll be back later with a video showing some of the bottom end stuff. And then as the assembly goes together, we'll start to detail some of the special operations required. And eventually we'll have this on the dyno. Talk to you later. Bye.